Hoping to plant corn in the new year, Randy attempts to rejuvenate his soil with a cover crop. As we all know, 60% of the time, it works every time. Will every time be this time? This is episode 47, Novo Mountain! Hey, good morning everybody. We're just gonna feed the dog real quick and hop in the truck. It is October, mid-swing of fall here, and we got a fair bit of work to do still. Of course, we were trying to make a little bit of hay. Thankfully, it did not rain overnight, and looks like it is clear this morning, so we might be able to squeeze a little bit out. The sun's just coming up over the mountains, and it uh, looks like it's going to be a lovely, lovely month today. Interesting sentence. Interesting bumper. All right, well, we'll pull up here, and I uh, suppose we should get started. All right, we're just going to give the chickens a little bit of feed here. They are starting to, uh, well, grow rapidly. We're getting a lot more of them, and they're going through a lot more feed. So wouldn't be surprised if they took a good amount more than what we have in here. I'm hoping it'll empty the trailer. Looks like it did. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, that's awesome because we're going to get this guy filled up with manure. As you can see, this is kind of our third iteration of uh, our chicken area. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I think this one will do us pretty well. We had to remove the pallet pusher because, uh, of course, it, uh, it was kind of causing some issues. Crushed some eggs. We did lose a pallet. So we're a little bit behind on that. But uh, we'll sell them next month when the price is high. And we can kind of go from there, which will be awesome. I think as well as the canola we have planted will be at a high price. So that'll be good. And I'm thinking we can probably pull this guy just up here. We might have to move them at some point and uh, we'll probably have to turn back on our mixer here get it filled up because it's starting to run low it still has some in there of course but uh, wouldn't hurt to top it up all right as we can see yeah we're a little bit low on silage but we do have a fair bit that we have made as you can see here we do have the production turned off so it's not costing us any more money so that is good Suppose we have 70,000 liters, we might be able to make a little bit more before the season ends because you can see the grass is growing a little bit more again, so that's awesome. Probably in November might be our last chance, I would think. That being said, I think we might try out our new silo right here, and uh, we already have a trailer with us, so we may as well run underneath and uh, try and get her topped up here. That is much more convenient than bales, that is for sure. I suppose it finish. There we go. I'm not sure how much we have in here, but it should be a good amount, and hopefully these straw bales don't get in the way, but we can get it dumped off here. We're in the 7 Series here. We got the bucket on, and it, it actually looks so tiny on the 7 Series. It's actually it's kind of funny. It's almost like uh, should definitely have a bigger bucket on there, something that we could use on probably not a wheel loader, but uh, I don't know. I feel like this one just uh, is so minuscule. But nonetheless, we will get this guy topped up. It'll probably take us a good amount of time. We have so much over here. It'd probably be worth getting some sort of bigger bucket to get it unloaded because... Uh, yeah, this is definitely, definitely not the play, but, uh, you know, got to do what we got to do for now. So we'll see you on the other side.
Just running back from dropping off our second load of manure there, and you know, I think with how long it takes to fill that guy up with the bucket, it's uh, it's gonna be worth it to get our farmhands started on our cover crop on the other end of the field. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know if we'll have time for it and get that and our second field planted today, as well as finish up making our hay. So, um, you know, use time smart, and uh, geez, you can definitely tell the paint is starting to wear off on this guy. But uh, not a problem. Does its job well, and uh, it's a working machine. So we'll get hooked up to this guy and send him on over to the other end of the field. Probably just going to do some oilseed radish. Never done that before, so this will be interesting. I'm pretty sure it is, you know, similar to grass. It's just a cover crop, um, something to put on the field and, you know, kind of just not have the soil exposed over winter and should kind of get a lot of oxygen co2 into the soil and just all around kind of just replenish it and uh give it some fertilizer naturally and it should be good to go for next year we should have a really good corn harvest after so that is the game plan there our second field here that is uh well nice and shiny slick full of uh double application of slurry that i uh, i'm not 100 percent sure we only have a few crops that we can really plant this late in the season so still kind of undecided probably something that we can just keep going for yeah, either straw or our chicken something like that but uh, we'll probably just send our friend off and just let him roll and we'll kind of pick up where he leaves off well whenever we can kind of come give him a hand so that is that for now I'm curious how long it'll take him because I mean it is a fair sized field and we didn't do any help with the headland for him so I guess we'll kind of just wait and see there. Alright, annoying task of the day, just make sure these guys are topped up. I think we do have a little bit left over in there from yesterday, so it doesn't hurt just to make sure they're good to go. And uh, the nice thing, we can just drive over, pick up one more load, and uh, then they should be fine. Takes us nearly, I don't know, a tenth of the time that it did before. I suppose we do have to refill our mixer with some more there but it should have enough in the tank for at least one more reload maybe not a full hopefully though hopefully That should be good for now. Of course, we did throw some silage in there, and uh, we can always top it up with some more if needed. And it looks like, yeah, it did have enough to produce at least, oh my gosh, one more full load for us. And I think we do need to go get some more mineral feed to add into our mixture because I'm pretty sure we're fresh out. So we're going to have to go make a trip over to the store at some point today. But uh, that will have to be lower down on the priority list because, of course, we got to make make some hay while the sun is shining we gotta plant a couple fields here one is in the works currently but it would uh would be nice to get the one field rolled at least i don't know if it's worth it um for the oil seed because uh, i don't even know if that's harvestable um and uh not doing the best job back in the trailer up here but it's fine it'll do all right looks like that's actually pretty much all they're gonna take 
No, it's still going. Yeah, she's still going. Wow, actually. It looks like it stopped with a little bit left in there. Just the tiniest amount. So, uh, well, we know they're full. That's a good thing. Might be worth giving them a little bit more water today. As well as uh, maybe our greenhouses if we have time. But I think they're okay for the time being. Nice to get them all full of manure. And uh, yeah, just looking around, we definitely have a lot to do and take care of over the winter if possible. You can see our grass is already starting to grow back. I'm curious. Looks like our friend is on the far side of the field there. So they're making good progress. I mean, it looks like it's almost halfway done, which is uh, it's pretty amazing. So kind of tough to tell with the grass growing back, but uh, you can tell where we cut it before. So this first one, it's, uh, you know, only just started to grow back. So this first little strip is, is going to be fairly unimpressive. But the rest of it should actually be a decent amount because it grew to its maximum length, um, which is awesome. You know, it takes, I think, about three months to get there, uh, maybe two. But it's definitely worth it uh, waiting a little bit longer, it seems like. Or at least, you know, we'll find out. It was some pretty tall grass, which is awesome. And, of course, we cut a little bit of the meadow here. This grass field is just an absolute mess right now. But after the winter season, it'll all kind of be back on track into the same cycle. And hopefully we can just get going there. We did have to rush it a little bit this season because we were out of hay. And, uh, well, kind of worried that we'd be in the same situation next year. So decided to try and make a little bit more last minute. Thankfully, the seasons were a little bit offset this year. Uh, we did have snow a little bit later than expected, and thankfully it's still a little bit warmer than usual in October, so we should be okay, but we are kind of pushing it a little bit. that wasn't so bad and dare I say it even kind of relaxing it's nice just watching all that grass turn into hay spread out of there and uh, it is really cool honestly um, not the craziest of engineered machines but at the same time is like it is like a pretty wild technology I don't know like uh, I couldn't build that I mean if you gave me the blueprints I could put the pieces together but I don't really know how it all works, you know what I mean? That's pretty cool. I don't know, I'll take it. And this guy, it actually does have a pretty fair width on it, so that is awesome. Was able to get the job done in a fair amount of time, I, you know, or a reasonable amount of time. And uh, of course, we do still have our wind rower. Not the biggest of wind rowers, but it gets the job done. We don't have the biggest of field that we're dealing with right now, so uh, th it works, you know, fair game. It is nice and green, too. It matches. Nothing wrong with it, but uh, you know what? I'll say it. Size matters to Randy, okay? We like him big. So this one does just fine. But ultimately, you know, we want the big boy. We want that big hog. So, you know, we might have to upgrade eventually. All right, we'll just get this guy unfolded, turned on, and I suppose we will go pretty much the same direction that we made the hay in. Of course, the width, it's just not the same, you know what I mean? This is where, like, the tether, I think we can get away with keeping that if we wanted to. But this wind rower, you know, it's just something about it, you know? I feel like we could just do better.
Well, that turned out pretty good. I think the field looks all right. You know, it's, it's not amazing, but there's not too many spots that we uh, we mi missed that we didn't miss. I don't know. Not too many missed patches. So that's good. Definitely an improvement. And you know what? This guy did an okay job, but yeah, definitely for anything bigger, I think, yeah, we would definitely want something that has probably four of these guys and can uh, make a, something, something a little bit bigger. What we had last time actually was... Uh, pretty great but then again there is a new I mean a couple sets of mowers that we could invest into that make swaths right out the gate so that's awesome but of course if we're making hay that's not so awesome because uh, we would just spread it all back out again so we're just gonna pull this guy in here for now and uh, go check out what our farmhand is doing down on the other end of the field Of course, we do have to grab a little bit more water. I saw that their trough was, uh, well, it was almost empty when we were driving by, so figured why not hook up, get them refilled. I am really itching to make some firewood. We have all those logs just sitting there tempting me and all the machinery ready to go as well. But we have just so much field work that we've been doing. It's just been, uh, it's been tough to find the time, but hopefully after months end here we will have well we'll have a lot more time so that'll be nice all right that should be good on those guys for now and uh yeah we'll go check out what's going on with our farm hemmed it looked like he had stopped yeah you can see uh, our equipment just over there so i'm not sure what the deal is exactly guess we'll go find out um well he didn't exactly leave the tractor in the best position. How did he even do that? It's come on, man. All right, so we figured out the problem, and uh, yeah, we definitely blew a little bit of a gasket there in the hydraulic line. So we're gonna have to take this guy back to the shop, get that fixed up, and uh, just to save some time because uh, well, we are running short on it today. We might have to get the seven series out here and just throw him right onto the planter, get him going on that while we can get some repairs done on this guy. And uh, kind of works out because then we can end up using this for bailing. So that does work, I suppose. I think the 7 Series is still doing okay. Haven't really checked on it in a little while as far as repairs go. We'll get this guy hooked up and we might just do a pass around the headland because well we know this part can get a little bit tricky for the farmhand sometimes so if we can just give him a hand by getting it started um, I think that'll probably save us a little bit of time of course I can't even line up my own implement oh gosh but <laughs> well as, as I was trying to say that probably save us some time later if we got it done now that way hopefully he can just completely finish up the field and we don't get kind of that false sense of you know doing other things and thinking he's got it and then realizing oh crap we actually we got to do a couple missed spots here so we will just get this cleaned up for him a little bit it's actually so satisfying just mowing down all of these weeds as we plant along that is kind of the nice part about having a direct drill with the cultivator attachment on the front there as well. So it's just kind of plowing and churning up all of these weeds into the soil and uh, getting it planted right behind. So that is decent. And thankfully, yeah, we don't have to roll this field. So I think it'll be just fine as it is. No fertilizer, no rolling, just oh natural. While we are down here, I figured why not check out our viscous liquids area with our syrup and our honey because, uh, well, I was thinking about it and that's kind of what it is. You know, we're making that syrup, we're making the honey, they're liquidy, they're thick, and we're looking good. This is a lot more honey than we've really ever had down here, so 
That's awesome. You can see all the bees flying around over there. Lots of syrup as well. I think we're doing pretty good there, so that's good to know. And, uh, you know, I was hearing around town, there is a lot more demand for it, so might be worth getting some of that packed up and sold off. I was looking at some prices earlier, and, you know, they're pretty high, so might be worth it just dropping by some on the road. I'm not too worried about ripping through this field, as it's just just going to be a cover crop, and of course it is actually looking very nice right now, so that is a bonus. I think we might have to just hand bomb some of that syrup on there, and uh, you know, it might take us a little bit longer, but uh, that is okay. We'll go get it sold, and thankfully the sell point is, uh, well, it's not very far away. I don't think we can really fit too many on here, so thankfully we won't, won't be breaking our back. But, uh, well, we'll definitely be sore. Alright, and we're looking good. We have all but, uh, one spot left on there. So we'll just get that closed up. We'll rip on over, and I guess, you know what? Since we're heading out there, might be worth it to just take this guy right to the farm store, pick up a couple pallets of mineral feed, because, as we said, we are out on that, and we haven't even checked the sales today, so we can get that done as well. All right, we'll just pull up here. And uh, yeah, just like that, she gone. All right, we have made it. Let's see what they have. Subsoiler and a disc arrow. Neither of which I think we're really interested in. This is interesting. It looks like it might have rollers on the back and just have a nice seed bed after it's all done. But uh, not really in the position to be looking at stuff like that right now. And I believe we did make $8,500 um, from our maple syrup. So that is awesome. Definitely enough to look at some more mineral feed. Unfortunately, you do have to buy it individually by the pallet. So we've already bought two. This is three, four, five and six. Uh, I think last time we bought four, I want to say, and threw it in the back of the truck. So we should be able to get all these in the trailer no problem and uh, have more than enough left over to last us, well, a couple months, hopefully the winter. And uh, well, kind of wonky loaded up, but for whatever reason, they don't want to all fit in the trailer. So that's not a problem. We got a couple put in the back of the truck, and uh, we'll be able to bring it all back, no problem. All right, so I think we can actually just leave our trailer here for right now, and we'll probably just hand bomb off some of these bags right directly into the factory there. So we'll get them off the truck, and we'll be good to go there. All right, that is looking good, and uh, we'll probably get the repairs done on the other tractor here, and that way we can get to Balin. I mean, we are limited on sunlight, and uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's already going down. All right, so I have gotten just another notification here that there's something is wrong with these eggs. I don't know. They are having trouble spawning more. And I really, I don't see the issue because we have a couple there. That seems to be their max. That's what it was saying when the pallet pusher was there. So I assume that was the issue. I mean, the fence has been moved a fair bit back. Plenty of space to get it in and out, but still provide protection. So I don't know. Maybe I think the next step is absolutely just sending this fence off into the oblivion and uh, seeing what happens. So, I mean, we, we do need more than just two pallets to spawn at a time. That's, uh, that's not it. So, you know, might just have to break out the chainsaw and uh, say goodbye to our handiwork. Alright, well that looks utterly ridiculous now. I thought it looked so nice before. But we'll see if that fixes the issue. If not, I mean... Maybe it's this panel, but I mean, I thought it just looked nice leaving it. I didn't want to get rid of all of it, but I guess we'll find out uh, 
in another hour when they try and give us some more eggies. All right, I definitely do not expect much as uh, as far as bales go. We got 17 out of this entire field last time. Who knows how many we'll get this time? But uh, you know, if I had to guess, I'd say 11. My mind wanted to say 10. My brain wanted to tell me 12. And uh, so I split the difference. I don't know. I feel like we have longer grass here. That's something we haven't experienced before. Um, so I don't know. Who knows? We did cut a little bit more than, you know, I feel like it looks like. Yeah, when, when you see all these swaths down, it's like, oh, there's actually there's actually a fair bit there. You know, it's, it's not just a small job. So hopefully it doesn't take us too, too long here. Because, uh, well, we still want to get that other field planted. And we're running out of daylight. I know the farmhand, he just shot me a text. He said, hey, Randy, we're almost done here. What do you want me to do? So hopefully, you know, he actually meant that. And he'll be done soon. And he can get this other field done up for us. And we can roll right behind him. And, well, roll the field. Not that many extra bits, but uh, honestly, we just didn't have time to collect all of it today. Um, you know, if the other tractor was still rolling, then it probably would have been worth our time. But uh, unfortunately, we got to deal with some other stuff, like uh, remembering to look at the gas gauge on our tractor so we don't run out of fuel, because this kind of stuff is just unacceptable, you know? This is almost pushing us back uh, to not being able to plant that field this season, so that's not good. Oh, Nelly, I think we have found one. We're, we had one left over. How great is that? So that kind of saves the day just a little bit. We'll throw that in the back of the truck here, and uh, we'll rip on over to the field, get him put in with 20 liters, and uh, we can get him back and fueled up. All right, this is the tractor in question. All right, we got her all fired up. So we are gonna just get this guy over to the other side of the yard so we can get some diesel put in this guy. And uh, you know, when I was changing stuff around on the tractor, doing a little repairs here and there, I was like, I, I don't think this is the issue um, because, well, it seemed like everything was in pretty much working condition. All the hydraulic lines were good. Uh, you know, all the gaskets were good no leaks no oil spurting out on us so i think maybe it's our planter that needs a little bit of, uh, of a repair so we'll probably get this guy filled up really quick here and uh maybe we'll pop him into the shop see if there's anything else laying around to uh to get it fixed oh my gosh i hooked it up to the computer and it's <laughs> 14,000 to repair. It's only valued at 16,000 and we only have 19,000. Oh my god. Oh uh, Well, we got to do it. We got to get stuff planted and uh, this machine. It's it's a monster um, you know, It's got 60 hours on it. So I mean, what can you do? We're just shy of $5,000 left in the bank, but uh, hey, you know what we are gonna be making a little bit of money tomorrow with finally selling our canola and um, the little eggs we have hopefully some more spawn for us because uh, yeah that is uh, quite a weird issue if no more have spawned by the time uh, we're all done kind of here tonight then you know what I think I might just have to tear down that fence before I go to bed because we're definitely gonna want as much as we can to sell especially when we got big bills to pay like uh, repairing things like well 
The 7 Series? Jeez, he's still back at it. In hindsight, glad we kept him because, you know, he's done uh, he's done pretty well for us. He hasn't cost us nearly as much this year because, uh, well, we've been running our other tractors, so that's it's worked out. Alright, it looks like our worker's done a good amount for us to give us a little bit of room, breathing space, if you will, to get our rolling done without catching up to him. Hopefully, with any luck, we'll meet him on the other side of the field and we'll be good to go. Definitely tough to tell where we have and have not been as the light goes down. Maybe if we turn those on, it is a little bit easier to see what we're doing here. Imagine that, it gets dark, you use light, and you can see. Wow, that's neat. All right, well, that was actually pretty good. You know, a little bit of catching up, but ultimately we did pretty good. Why do I feel like there is one little patch right here that we missed? So we'll just get that done. And uh, so nice of the farmhand to drive the tractor back to the yard because we got to do the same thing. So not fair if we got to do it twice. I mean, come on, man. But uh, yeah. It's, he looks like, huh, it's hard to see him with just the one set of lights on. Oh man, it's been a long day. We're getting weird. And uh, I think that's going to have to be it. I don't know if there's any more work we can get done today. And it's been a good episode. It's been a long one. And hey, we're jumping into the winter season next. We've gotten so much done. And uh, yeah, we should have a nice and busy winter. So I'm looking forward to that. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.